Minecart by day, texture pack reference by night. And welcome back to another episode of All Day Single Play, My Single Player World. This is episode number nine. <clears throat> and we are underground in the subway system. Uh, my subway system, to be precise. Uh, I need to do something about uh, this right here. Uh, so you automatically go here. And then, if you try to take this one, it'll uh, it'll just send you this way. So it's you really can't go from here. You can't go this way. Uh, but I'm going to make this a circle uh, instead of having two different tracks because that'll be easier. Um, but I'm not sure if I showed you this uh, in the last episode. I think I did the finish, but I've kind of made it look better with all the stone stone bricks and stuff and I want to put lights underneath here but I haven't gotten there it's not too bad just you know press a button <laughs> I missed there <laughs> not too hard to press a button and just ride a rail five seconds to wherever you're going next and then this right here will be another button press yeah, but that's uh, uh that's basically why <laughs> this has taken so long. I know like one stone brick equals one cobble, but just to dig all of it out and smelt it and then get all this decide where it's going and where to go, it's oof, it's uh quite a lot. But nonetheless. Oh man. Okay, we've got that. Um Yeah, I haven't updated to the new snapshot yet because uh, I don't know. It it still seems buggy because the most current one uh, has a lot of. I mean, they don't crash your game at all, but it's just more of a. Uh, it's like more of a. <clears throat> it's just minecarts. They show texture pack errors like. The minecarts have like every block, like you know how if you're trying to create a texture pack, it has a certain thing. Uh, it it kind of does that, so uh, that's one of the issues. But um, we uh, today. I want oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna throw this back in. There. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead over to my skeleton spawner. What is this? Uh, we are going to head over to my skeleton spawner, and uh, I have a few cool ideas there uh, for. Sorry, I'm getting the water. Miss. We're gonna make it look good. Uh, I have a few ideas to uh, spice it up, make it look different. Maybe, uh, maybe some redstone. Never know. Uh, but I'll meet you guys over there in about two seconds for you. Chicken! And welcome back. Uh, here we are at the skeleton spawner. Uh, this is kind of the idea I'm going for. Um, the This will, of course, all be... Uh, all this will be removed and all these iron bars will be uh, up to the ceiling uh, and of course the drop will be the same but uh, I want I want to clear everything outside of it out within like a uh, five block seven blocks type thing so it's like we're in the cage like that the cage is what I'm going for uh, and it's just kind of uh, hanging down from the ceiling, and I'm I'm aware that we don't have a ton of room uh, from the the top of the <coughs> world, I suppose you could say. 
um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so this is, yeah, this is kind of just the general idea. And how angry would I be if I just, like, broke that? Pretty mad. Uh, I did bring a ton of iron. Let me just get these guys. And I have absolutely no way of cooking any cobble or anything, so... That was a not very smart idea, but I'm going to get to work here, and we'll see you in a bit. And finished. Well, halfway. <laughs> I have to uh, get more stone bricks. Uh, well, maybe, yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't have any. I don't have any fuel for any of my fern eye here. So I guess that won't be happening. Um, but I'm not sure. I'd have to go into a creative world to test this, but. Or just make a creative world here. Uh, if skeletons get pushed here, and then they like, if there's not these walls here, will they still fall in the same position, or will they like uh, go down there and then like move off to the side and hit the edge here or something? I don't know. That's all we're going to do with that for today. <coughs> um, we're going to head back and oh, and maybe work on. Uh, there's a skeleton here. Uh, maybe work on a farm or uh, the potion. Potion stands. Shouldn't be many mobs out here. Uh, but we will see you in just a bit. Another one down. I am very sorry, guys, but that's going to have to do it for this episode. A uh, very short episode today, uh, just because... Uh, not a lot to do. Not a... I didn't have very much to do. I mean, I have a lot of projects going, but a lot of 
what I want to do right now is explore and doing that until the next uh, update is kind of difficult for me because I'd be like, oh, I found this other fortress, but there's old loot in it, so I could have waited one more week or something like that. I don't know. I might update, but like I said, the last snapshot's kind of kind of buggy. Uh, wait, wait for a few fixes on that, but that's why it's a short episode. That's why I haven't been uh, recording these, putting these out too often uh, the past week or so. Um, but I need to uh, get a blaze spawner going or something in there, and I don't want to uh, go explore more for Nether fortresses and I. I don't want to find the end portal because that has a uh, chest as well. Uh, so that's a uh, that's a few reasons for that. But once that comes out, I will be exploring and getting on here a lot more often and having a lot more fun because uh, I'm this rail is a lot of what I'm working on right now uh, because I think it's my most fun project. But I think it looks cool too. Uh, let's actually take a few sand blocks. I've noticed this doesn't look natural. Uh, but yeah, that's going to have to do it for today. Uh, very sorry for the short episode. Uh, and we will have to see you next time.